If you want to learn RSSNs properly and become proficient in it, there is a free and easy way to do it. Let me show you how. So first of all, go to assessments.com. This is where you can get yourself a free environment. There's a video uh, on it on this channel. You can watch it in case you want to get into details. But after that, go into getting started and access the learning portal. Uh, this is where a lot of resources exist for you to help with your learning part. What is more important for you at the moment would be the online training. Now with our systems, we have a lot of these courses and trainings available free of cost. And uh, there's a proper way of doing them also. So basically, you can explore the entire laundry list of courses from the courses. Let me click it and open it separately on the bar. But there's also a proper way of doing it, which is in the way of guide paths. Now, guide paths are uh, a, a way of putting these courses in a meaningful uh, pattern so that you can start from beginners and become more proficient as you go on. So let's say these are the courses uh, that you have. There are many and you can filter them by your interests. But uh, that could get quite confusing. So what I'll recommend you is to access the guided paths. And if you notice in the guided paths, we have courses available from different areas. For example, if your focus is on becoming a reactive web developer or mobile developer, or there are even specializations depending on the role that you play. Like if you want to become a tech lead or your focus is on architecture, or DevOps or you're part of the delivery team and several others. Now how each of these learning paths are structured, let me perhaps pick up one, let's say mobile development. First of all, is these are quite in depth. You can see this made up of 26 courses and it will take you anywhere around 14 hours to do it. And these uh, learning paths are, as I said earlier, are made up of courses and these courses are uh, a mix of, uh, you know, videos, uh, exercises in them and uh, quizzes so for example let me open one of these courses if you go inside you can see there are quizzes there are hands-on exercises there are a lot of overviews in there that would truly make you fully aware about a specific topic what is also good is if you're logged in to access the courses it keeps track of your progress which is really really good so let's say after uh, you spend 14 hours i recommend not to do it in one go Every day, if you are able to spend uh, one or two hours, is good enough. The goal should be to absorb as much as possible, but also to practice. So focus more on practicing. But let's say after that, you are done. You have achieved what you want. You can also get yourself certified by going into the certifications. Uh, however, there is a cost for getting certified. Uh, from my point of view, it's worth investing in your career, in the skills that you want to acquire for next part of your career. So yes, go ahead. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and register for these certifications. And while learning or while your certification exam, if you come across anything, I think our community is also a good place to go. Uh, they have forums, for example, if you get stuck somewhere, feel free to post your questions here and uh, the community will be there to help you out with your questions. Happy learning. Thanks.